Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Anticipation is mounting for today's game, and we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's Cars Raiders going up against Smith's Chiefs. With that, we'll get you out to one of the livelier settings in the NFL, Arrowhead Stadium in KC, as we say hello to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Oakland Raiders. Hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And you know, Charles, as Larry pointed out in the open, got a couple of great quarterbacks set to square off here this afternoon. That ball's probably going to be flying all over the place, isn't it? Oh, without a doubt. And the game has never been more quarterback-centric than it is now. And both of these teams have top-flight signal callers. Bitter rivals going back to their AFL days in the 1960s. The Chiefs and Raiders are underway. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Alex Smith and the Kansas City Chiefs, a loss last week to the Buffalo Bills. They'll try to right the ship here, but... It's now five losses in six games for Kansas City. And look, they're still six and five, so they can make a run late, but they're struggling. Yeah, and did you see this coming, really, when they were in the midst of that winning streak? No. The way that they were playing, they looked like they were perking on all cylinders. Everything clicking, running even college plays, it felt like. You know, Travis Kelsey getting involved, Alex Smith with quarterback run game. But when he throws for 199 yards... That is so different from earlier in the year when we were seeing well over 300 each and every game, not getting the big shots downfield anymore. They go play action to Hunt. Now Smith. And he's got some space here. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. comes to the line now first and ten now a first down throw it's Smith the tight end Kelsey has it over the middle and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down give him 15 yards on that one Kansas City has a first down not a stat we talk about often with tight ends but Travis Kelsey he can move it after the catch. Third overall in the NFL in yards after catch last season. Behind two running backs, Le'Veon Bell and David Johnson. Strength and a little bit of niftiness in Travis Kelsey's game. Fresh set of downs here. A shotgun snap for Smith. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. This is the offense we're going to see coming up in this one, and Travis Kelsey will be key. What a tremendous weapon he is, especially in the red zone. Knows how to find the end zone when running his routes. Second down now after the pass completion. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Going for the deep ball. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. 
Time to say hello to the defense for the Oakland Raiders, and congratulations to them. It took them to week 12, but they finally got their first interception of the season. And how about that? And remember, this was a week where the Raiders made a number of changes, right? Changed the defensive coordinator, maneuvered around with responsibilities, put a real emphasis on making sure they tried to get to the football. The takeaways, the big, th the big theme of the week, and they got it. The first one. How about that one? Navarro Bowman coming over from San Francisco got it done. Yeah, and you saw how it happened, right? I mean, what, what, wasn't the ball bouncing around or something? <laughs> wasn't it crazy? And then he just kind of caught it as he fell to the turf. How about that? And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. Colquitt on to kick as he sends it away. And this punt sails over the sideline. And the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. Coming off a solid game, Derek Carr will lead out the Oakland Raiders. They beat Denver last week, 21 to 14, 253 in the yardage department, a couple of touchdowns, and you know for Carr and company, they're still in the playoff hunt in the AFC West. Hard to believe, isn't it? Because at one point we'd pretty much given them up for okay, what can they do in 2018? But Kansas City has come back to the pack. The Chargers have emerged as the hot team, and the Raiders somehow stand right there. They're just a game out of first place in their own division. And remember, they beat Kansas City head-to-head -head earlier this season. On the carry, here's Marshawn Lynch. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A look now at the Oakland offense. What I've always liked about Michael Crabtree has been one word, strength. Strength of route running, strength of body, strength of hands. If that ball gets near him, it's hard to get it away from him, hard to dislodge it. And I think that that's why he's starting to have more and more success in the NFL. If he's even close to being open, he comes down with the football. Car to throw after the play fake to Lynch. And with a flag down, he goes down. So they're able to sack him. Now the penalty looks like it could be holding. Let's find out. So they will take the sack instead of the penalty. And it takes another down off the series. But the biggest one of all, do you want to tell the guy who just got the sack that it no longer counts? <laughs> no. No, not at all. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Carr going to throw. They find some open field here. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall. That one good for 10 yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. Six-year man Marquette King on to punt. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And out come the Chiefs now. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They go play action here on first down. 
And now the ball's loose. Smith loses it. And the Raiders have recovered. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Shotgun now for Carr. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Jared Cook, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. Well, that didn't take long. The turnover instantly almost turning into points. And when that happens, a lot of teams have the mentality of let's strike right now. You got them off balance after the turnover or the takeaway. Let's go get it. And that's exactly what they did. Point after try forthcoming. And that makes it 7-zip Oakland. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try and move the football. from Toledo. This is Kareem Hunt. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Second down following the run. Smith going to leave it to Hunt on the draw. And I think we've got a hold here. It's a five-yard pickup for the moment. Let's see what our referee says. Holding offense. So that one will be accepted. Throw on second down to Smith. He's got Wilson, middle of the field. And down he'll go at the 25. That catch good for five. It's third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. 
And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Throwing on third down, Smith. They're able to locate Wilson. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. A good pick up there on 20 yards. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they could do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but to have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks, those guys are worth their weight in gold. Now the offense lining up first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now it's Smith. Thomas has got it, complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. The reception good for seven. It's third down. third down that's hunt and they go backwards here losing yardage back at the 48 yard line that'll make it fourth down after a loss of one you know we might start getting some props here in the booth you know that one that says the d and then the fence that you put up next to it how about that they brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. impressive they were ready defensively for that jumbo set Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Start on the ground with Lynch. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And a glance now at the Chiefs' defense. Tom Holley is one of the players you absolutely have to respect in the NFL. Goes about his business the exact way you want to. 100% day in, day out. Plays the run, plays the pass, and knows how to get to the quarterback. And what they've done really well with him in Kansas City, taking care of him as he's gotten older. They've cut down the number of plays that he's been on the field for, but his percentage of getting it to the quarterback continues to rise. Tom Bahali is the guy you want on third down when it's time to go get the QB. On second down, Lynch. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Carr going to try and throw on third down, and this is going to be incomplete.
Here's Marquette King now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. So now here are the Chiefs as their offense makes their way back out onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? To begin the drive, here's a handoff to Hunt. Able to push his way through. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. That's what love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. They run again with Hunt. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Smith going to give this one to Hunt, and he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Off of play action, here's Smith. Blitz coming and down he goes. Eddie Vanderdoes coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he's on to punt for Kansas City. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. <laughs> Great coverage there holds him to a two-yard return following a 50-yard punt. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. They start the drive with Lynch. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead.
See if they stay on the ground for second down. DeAndre Washington, his first carry. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Foul. Face mask. Defense. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. It's Washington. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. It's really come into vogue to talk about the different gaps that a defense tries to attack in an offensive line. And most of the time we're talking about blitzes. How many times have you heard double A-gap blitz? But where is the A-gap? It's the space between the center and the guards, either side. So when you're having a double A-gap blitz, that's two guys coming through that gap. In this situation, though, that A-gap wasn't open for the defense to exploit. The offensive line took care of it, protected it, and moved the defensive guys out of the way to allow for that nice run. But he gets this one to Michael Crabtree. And he's brought down. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. And we will not see another play as time has run out on this first quarter. 7-0 is our score, and we're back to Arrowhead after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. From the gun, it's Carr. And this one complete to Seth Roberts. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. to Washington. Open space inside the 10. And he doesn't quite make it. They do stop him, but he gets it all the way down to the one. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. The right there of the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. On 
Second down, Washington. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. DeAndre Washington taking it in from two yards out. And the Raiders add on to their lead. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Chiefs offense and Tyreek Hill heading back out onto the field. With them losing here in the second quarter and his limited productivity so far, you'd have to think they're going to try to look to him a little bit more, right? I would guess you would start to see maybe some quick screens, some hitches, anything to get the ball in his hands quickly and let him try and do some damage after the catch. Or maybe just flip some formations and keep him isolated where it's more of a one-on-one -on -one route and get the ball to him. I say just four verts, right? Hey, why not? Four <laughs> verts, one of the best routes in football. Hard to cover each guy all the way along the route. So far, just one catch for him. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. Smith with a give to Hunt. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. He lost two there, and it's third down. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. The Chiefs on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time it's third and three. Trying to run the option right side. Smith. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. The keeper nets him only a yard, and that's going to bring up fourth. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And there's a work of art right there. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. Here come the Raiders, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Very tough spot here for the offense to start.
They'll start the drive with Washington. Showed off the power, but not much room to run. Brought down at the five. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10 yard line. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. And he powers his way up past the 30. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. And defensively going with a dime set. Six DBs on third and four. From the gun, it's Carr. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. Here's Marquette King now as he's on to punt for Oakland. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. Tyreek Hill making his way back out towards the huddle. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. And not great starting field position here for the offense. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And that gets him a little room as he'll take this up over the 10-yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. shy of the 20 at the 19 yard line eight yards on the pick up there and it moves the sticks i'm okay with the call there in fact i actually like it i know they're down a couple of scores 
but the running game worked in that situation, I would continue to go in that direction. Smith on first down. He's going to dump this off to his running back, Hunt. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. Call it a one-yard gain of the play, and it'll make it second down. Smith now on second down. And his throw is incomplete. Demetrius Harris, the intended target. And it's third down. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. The Chiefs on third down. Just one for five to this point. This is third and nine. Here's Smith. And it's complete to Kelsey. And they'll get it all the way out near midfield to the 45. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Now it's Hunt, and they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, that play was doomed right from the start. He just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. On second down, here's Smith. And some space here. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That one good for 12 yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted just two for six thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. Able to find Harris complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. Now 
whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. Foster, offense. So that'll back him up five. right side Smith and they'll bring him down at the 18 yard line 13 yards on the pickup and it'll bring up a second down well partner for a few years there we thought this read option play was going to take over the whole NFL it seemed like everyone was using it but it has been scaled back considerably in the last few seasons mainly because people worried about their quarterbacks getting hit but when you call it at the right time and you use it properly, you see the type of gains you can get. A nice chunk of yardage there by the quarterback. Looking to throw on second down. Smith. And the Raiders have got him. Khalil Mack from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. So the sack of Smith, and now the Chiefs coming up facing third and long. Out of the gun, Smith. A swing pass caught, and they do stop him, but he takes it all the way to the two. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Larry Ridley is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. And now for the offense, this is play number 11 here on this drive. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. That's going to set him back five yards. Oh, long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Smith now to throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment defense. Let's get into the weeds here a little bit, partner. The Raiders last year, road games only, committed the most penalties in NFL history 
for the most penalty yardage in NFL history. Yeah, hard to believe in something they have to shore up when they're playing away from home. A long drive here. Play 12 coming up for the offense. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the chief linemen might have moved. False start. Offense. And that'll set them back five. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. Smith now looking to throw on second down. That's complete right around the eight. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. The offense on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. They're looking at a third and goal here. Throwing again to Smith. And he will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. Alex Smith. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Yeah, yeah, you heard it, right? <laughs> exhale. You heard the exhale, and I'm taking that from their bench because finally, right before the half, they find a way to get the ball in the end zone and get, get some points on the board. Maybe they can use that to kickstart them for the second half. Yeah, just to get something before going into the lockers. And now in the second half, they can just tighten. It's what they want to do, tighten down everything they're doing, and it maybe explode at the right time. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. First and ten. Here's Carr. Crabtree with it over the middle. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout.
So here we go, first and ten now. Carr. A right side catch by Crabtree. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Carr over the middle, and it's incomplete. They were trying to get it to DeAndre Washington, and it's third down. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. They're looking at third and a few inches. Again, they'll throw with Carr. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Well, they did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. Here's Marquette King now. He's been terrific so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Now, Sharkandrick West heading back onto the field. Now, I'm not going to say you completely abandon the passing game, but it would really behoove them to get this running game going more. That's the identity most teams are seeking, able to establish themselves, control the game by running it, have to touch it multiple times in order to have success in this game. Yeah, as we say, yeah, that's right. As we say all the time, that sets up the passing game. I feel like a broken record with that. Listen, we can be broken records all we want. Bottom line is, lather up that big horse <laughs> and let him run. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Ten yards still left on second down. Throwing again. Smith. And to the left side here, Wilson. And a stoppage here. A timeout before this third down play takes place. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action.
So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. The Chiefs on third down. Five out of nine thus far. Here it's third and three. Now Smith. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. So the offense has it first and 10. To the air again, Smith. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Raiders out in front as we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Charles. And welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Chiefs haven't played their best football and trail because of it. The Raiders have looked good on the road and will just try to keep the ball rolling in the second half. So let's take a look at the highlights from the first half. First and 10, the football is going to be up for grabs here. He ended up running for a big gain of 87 yards on this run. Now after the fumble, Carr to the air. He finds his big tight end, Jared Cook. And it leads to a touchdown as they get out to a 7-0 lead. Second and two coming up. Washington's going to use a stiff arm to get away. And he caps off the six-play drive with the score. As they move out in front, 14-0. Chiefs have it late in the second. Smith is going to head outside to the right. And he caps off the drive on this run. Thank you, LR. Appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Now whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. False start. Offense. Yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Three. 
Shotgun now for Carr. Letting one fly deep for... He's got a man complete. And he will finally be taken down, but not before he reaches the 38. A big play there. Carr to Cooper. 42 yards. So Amari Cooper out of Northwestern High School in Miami making a nice play there. And it's so funny that when I was going through the draft process when he came out of Alabama and was inquiring about him and his skills, they say it all began back in Miami. He really became a pro receiver at a young age because of his attention to detail and precision. But don't forget his athletic ability. That's what made that catch there. And he did spend one year with Teddy Bridgewater as his quarterback there, so that helped back in high school. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch, and he'll take it down to the 30-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Second down following the run. Again, they'll pound it with Lynch. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. From the gun, Carr. And this is caught. It's Cooper. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Amari Cooper, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Raiders add six to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. Extra point attempt here still to come. It's good, and it is now 21 to 7. A four play drive spanning 80 yards, and it winds up in six points for the Raiders. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Now a play fake here on first down. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Give him six on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Second down and four. Oh, 
Here's Hunt. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So it'll be first down here after the run. They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. And the offense moving in the wrong direction here now as they face a second and 12. Here's Smith on the option left. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. He gets 12 on the keeper there, but now it's third down. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. The Chiefs on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll run it here with Hahn. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. They'll try the air now with Smith. And some room to run now. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second down. Second and five. This is Chark Hendrick West. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. And nobody was open downfield there. Looked like a pretty clear throw away. Yeah, definitely was that. I'm wondering why there wasn't intentional grounding. I know they're saying there's a receiver there in the area. Those darn quarterbacks, they get away with everything. <laughs> Spoken like a true defensive back, Mr. Oh, did, Davis. Did, did that come out? It did. Okay. the crossbar and out it's short he couldn't get it there it's no good and this score will stay right where it is well he had that one on target that's half the battle the other half of the battle however is distance and he nearly had that too but it was a crossbar that said otherwise and that'll deny him a shot at three Getting set to go again. We get a look at Amari Cooper as he heads back out there now. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good. 
but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, and when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, make, you do. Makes you, get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. So the missed field goal, and now they're in great shape. They'll start at the 38. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. So step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know, defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. here on first down and he fires one that's intercepted picked off at the 48 when they get the football they'll set up shop at their own 49 yard line well that's a drive killer right there not a really confident throw either this one was kind of up for grabs and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team comes Kansas City and they had compiled a pretty long drive last time unfortunately though it ended with no points after the missed field goal and that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board but let's face it we've been there we've seen teams before they were counting on those points they didn't get them can they come back now start over again and grind it out On first down, Smith. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. They go play action to Hunt. Now Smith. Going to let one fly for Robinson. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum Big play right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense on third down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's got room. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. And now Oakland ready to take the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? First down, the run with Lynch. 
Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. But winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game. But when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. Now Carr throwing on second down. Got it complete to Crabtree. And he'll be knocked down sideways right near the 27. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. The Raiders on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run it. Here's Lynch. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. Well, if we had any questions, that run kind of answered him. He's still Marshawn Lynch. Hasn't lost a thing. Maybe running with a renewed sense of purpose and energy after that year off. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They run again on first down Lynch. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. On second down, here's Carr. And complete right side to Cook. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. The Raiders first down, Carr hooking up with Cook. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Fresh set of downs here. Play action. Now it's Carr. Finds Roberts left side. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. throw after the play fake to Lynch and his throw is going to be incomplete well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead but now here third quarter maybe go to the run game a little more yeah perhaps I mean after that incompletion a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot but they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall On third down, they go Lynch. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. Now, whistles here, and I believe one of the Raider linemen might have been moving. Buster, offense. That's on the big guard, Gabe Jackson.
And the eighth play on this drive coming up. On play action, it's Carr. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Looking sideline, incomplete. Michael Crabtree, the intended receiver, and it's third down. The Raiders on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and 15. False start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. The Raiders on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and a mile. From the gun, it's Carr. He finds Roberts complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. Car now on first down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Good positioning and it's picked off. And a short return to the six yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And tough starting field position here. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game, and I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Smith and an alley to run and able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24 that goes for a Chiefs first down 14 yards lining up first and ten. Go, 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 
This is Hunt. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard they trail as we start quarter number four. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here's Smith now on second down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Smith's former 49er teammate, Navarro Bowman, leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So the sack of Smith, and now the Chiefs coming up facing third and long. From the gun, here's Smith. And got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That goes for a gain of 31. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Smith on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And now a first down following that long gain. Trying to run the action right side. Smith, and holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to make it second and 14. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. And a long way to go for the offense here on second down. A shotgun snap for Smith. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Out of the gun, Smith. He can't bring him down. The weight room does work. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down.
Okay, so thought they might go for it here down late. Instead, they trot out the field goal unit. And Butker able to put this one through. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So a miss on his first attempt, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. I know this will surprise you a little bit, Brandon, but you know kickers can be a fragile breed sometimes. You got to wonder what's going through his mind, but he didn't let that first miss impact him one bit. Hey, I kicked back at Harrison High School. Are you calling my ilk soft? After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Derek Carr getting ready to go again on offense. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Connects it to Roberts, right side. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A Raider first down, 17 yards. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. So here we go, first and 10 now. Carr gives to Marshawn. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Now a play fake, Carr. Wide open receiver complete. And he's gonna get this down to the 35 yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent timing, puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turned it upfield for good yardage. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Gives to Lynch on the draw. 
fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and they've got it back to third and 10. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The Raiders on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and 10. Throwing his car on third down. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. mask here come the flags and I believe this is going to be a first down so they will accept the penalty and move forward So the offense has it first and 10. Shotgun now for Carr. His pass caught at the four. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw ten interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident and keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. Back to the ground, Lynch. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. So stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance. I'm throwing the ball, and I'm not even thinking about play pass. I'm going to let them know right away I'm throwing it. I'm probably giving my quarterback some room, sprint him out to one side or the other, and give him an opportunity if it breaks down. And it's caught. Roberts has it for a Raider touchdown. Seth Roberts from four yards out. And the Raiders add on to their lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it ends with an Oakland touchdown. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. <laughs> Spinning away. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he'll be taken down just past the 20. 
at about the 21 yard line. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> you put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about Toe that. Toe <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> now a first down throw it's Smith and the tip there altered the ball flight and it falls incomplete it'll be second down you gotta give some credit they're able to hop up in the air and bat that one away and that's frustrating for an offensive lineman because the only recourse is when he goes in the air to try and give him some type of a pop or a shove hoping to bring his arms down Play action. Here's Smith. And that is intercepted. Or was it? Wait, they'll say no. No interception. He did not keep the feet in bounds, apparently. So that's just going to be an incompletion. I think when they get back in the huddle, the question will be, why did you throw that one? The coverage was incredible all over him. The only thing he didn't do after he caught the ball as a defender was get his feet in bounds. That should have been a turnover. Throwing on third down, Smith. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. I don't know, he had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. Or the mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. got to stay with it. That's true. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it is incomplete. Andy Reid went for it, but it won't pan out. And the Raiders with the football now in excellent field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. So out come the Raiders. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch, counter, punch isn't it and which team has the advantage well let's just go back last time on offense they rolled downfield get into a good rhythm you can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle you can see the sideline really get into the game so defensively you're thinking to yourself how do we take that away from them how do we get the advantage back let's see what they come up with i think pressure is always the first way to go <laughs> you love pressure i love it we'll see if they dial it up this drive and this is caught it's cooper a nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. First down and goal to go from the seventh. First and goal, they'll try the option left. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. So often you hear defensive coaches talk about we need all 11 on every play in order to be a good run-stopping unit. And sometimes it starts to sound a little cliche. But did you see the free safety on that play? Knifing through and running down the ball carrier. A huge, huge play. And when you have a free safety who can run like that, you've got to turn him loose. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Carter. 
the throw on second down. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And the pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does. And I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame. And any time he didn't get rid of the ball within this, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is. Just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have. Make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. recovery Smith and this is going to be caught he won the fight for the football give him a couple on the catch it's second and eight you got the big lead defensively willing to give him that underneath stuff right and this is why you work on your tackling tackle him after the catch inbounds keep the clock running just go ahead and bleed the game out that way Second down now after the pass completion. Here's Smith. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll make it third down. So completion on second down, that brings up third. Now Smith. And down he goes, brought down a Raiders sack. Khalil Mack in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Here's Dustin Colquitt now. Time for a break. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a fourth down situation with things not looking particularly rosy. Here's Dustin Colquitt now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And it's fielded at the 34. 51 yards on the punt there. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They have the big cushion here in the final stages of this one. I don't know if there's any better feeling than being up big on the road. There really can't be because for a team to go on the road and win in the NFL, that's huge to begin with. But just think about all the preparation that went into it. When they first started talking about this game, leading up to it during the week, going on the road, unfamiliar city, obviously, unfamiliar hotel. No one's going to be with you once you get to the stadium. They're all going to be against you. 
you name it, all those things they had to deal with, they were able to conquer them and do it convincingly. Yeah, they did it very convincingly, and now the final moments of this one. Give them a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Yeah, that wasn't a big run, just a short one there, but guess what? Sometimes you treat it like boxing. You throw that jab out there, and you throw it again, you throw it again, then you come with a big punch later. Maybe they're just trying to set them up. Keep pounding here with Ledge. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A pickup of 10, and it's enough for an Oakland first down. And Brandon, this is where it pays to have a big back who can take over a football game, especially in the fourth quarter when you've got the lead. Your ability to not just wear people down, but close games out. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. On the give, this is Lynch. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys... Hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Kansas City, so long, everybody.